Hey everybody, welcome to my latest video. Today we're getting into our Nebraska rebuild. We're going to run through the first season. As I've stated before, we are going to have the first three seasons simulated and work on the recruiting. And starting in season four, we'll start playing the game. So we'll move pretty quickly through the seasons. We'll have uh, three videos covering the first three seasons, so we'll split them up. Uh, we went ahead and ran a game. Um, Nebraska had lost to Wyoming. Kind of embarrassing. <laughs> I actually simmed that game out and watched it and recorded it. It's not uh, anything to be proud of, that's for sure. We had even first down and yards are pretty much the same. Um, just quarterback played pretty bad. 26 of 38 for 207, no touchdowns, no interceptions, so that's good, but he really just didn't do anything. I mean, there was he was no insignificant. Uh, rushing was insignificant. Receiving Martin, pretty decent. 7 for 99, 28 long. Pretty happy with him. Uh, defensively, we had a couple guys with a lot of tackles, so... Really, y'all, we're going to get into that recruiting. We're going to go ahead and advance the week. Now, for those of you watching the Vandy rebuild, I had originally put these on the same one. I actually did the save separately now. So, because it's too hard to actually do each one and go back and forth and try to, you know, get where we're going. So, the Vandy and Nebraska rebuilds will be on separate Dynasty files now. So, let's go ahead and advance to uh, South Mississippi. We're not going to worry too much about depth chart or anything. We're going to focus on recruiting. Uh, we really don't care about this season that much. We didn't plan on it being anything. Still have control of Vanderbilt, so it's going to show some things. But Okay, we got no news on these guys. Got a recruit ready to visit, so that's a good deal there. Okay. Let's go ahead and get into recruiting. We'll whip through this real quick. See if we lost anybody. Okay, we did lose one to center. I was hoping to get him, but this uh, is what it is, right? So, go ahead and see. That loss is really killing us on some of these players here. We'll go through championship chip contender deal breaker. Not good. We're going to be hurt by losing to them badly. Go ahead and scout. Looks like real good coverage linebacker. My goodness. We're going to focus on... Wow. Well, we really need people badly... So he went down, still an 80 though. This guy is one we really want to get. The 97 carry is very intriguing. Wide receiver. We need to build our defense too. Here's Boykin. 98 acceleration, all right. And guard. Went down two. Still somebody we're going to add points to. 82 overall guard. I'm not sure what shape we are in with him. Uh, we're way down, but we're gaining. So we'll go. We'll see what we can do. Go ahead and bump him up to 400. Keep an eye on him. We'll move him up so we can remember to check him out. Okay, quarterback's a big deal for us. He's got a slow pocket passer here. We're going to add a little bit more to him. Obviously, obviously I have no idea. Yeah, we're not going to get him, so probably 
see what else is out there in the quarterback market. So we're too far behind. We're going to go ahead and remove him. Yeah, these losses really killed us, man. Really badly. Go ahead and add something to him. Offer him a scholarship. Maybe we'll get the big jump there. Don't stand a chance with a lot of these guys. In fact, I don't remember adding them. I'm going to have to make sure I don't have that set to something funky. All right, let's go up and see who all is ready for a visit. Go through this real quick. We know we had at least one person. We'll go ahead and have them come in this week. It's better to do it later, get more points, but we need to land some of these guys early. Real early. We may have to do some uh, controlling of things because if we lose too many of these games and don't get any recruits, this year is going to be a wash. So we'll keep a better eye on it, move through it a little faster. We're going to sim to the end of the game. Holy crap, are we going to lose again? Wow, I'm going to get fired. Come on, team. What the fuck? Wow, this team's bad. 24 to 6. Wow. Another huge loss. <sighs> okay. We'll just go ahead and look at the game stats here. 24 of 43, 208, four picks. Wow, he's got to go, man. He's got to go. Johnson had 22 for 87. Yep, this is a bad team. <laughs> Defensively, Math is spalling out for us on defense. He's a senior, so he's not going to do us any good in the rebuild. It's tough, guys. Real tough. we got to get Thompson. I just don't have any faith that he's going to do anything for us. So we're going to go ahead and... 65210 sophomore. Hmm, the awareness I really like. I mean, I think we'll start Smothers and Harburg. Thompson's just, he's going to ride the pine, man. And we got almost no speed here. We do have a senior in Grant. 6'2", 235 pounds sophomore, 89 speed and good strength. We're going to go ahead and move Yant into our starting role. And we like that. Receivers we're going to leave alone for now. See the guy we signed here real quick. So, Sprinkle, we're going to scout him out. Got good strength. He's, uh, he went down a little, but his hit power and pursuit are pretty good. He's, um, remember right, he's a pretty big kid. Yeah, 6'6", 254. He's going to be a good player for us out of Vermilion, South Dakota. All right, Nebraska, come on. <laughs> wow. This team's bad. It's going to be a tough rebuild. Ooh, these are some brutal losses. Smothers, 98 rating. 21 of 43, 252. 
didn't really do anything to hurt us or help us. It's like the halfback had a pass attempt. Okay, Yant, sophomore, 6'2", 235 pounder, 19 carries for 70 yards, that's getting better. Nine, or six broken tackles, that's nice. Martin is balling out for us, our Iowa City, Iowa senior. We need receivers, don't we? Wow. Okay, blocking six pancakes, right on, baby. That sophomore, he's going to be a beast. We're going to have a really good offensive line next season. Nelson, our left ends, balling out. Corner with some plays. See, did anybody get any sacks? Maga Clements. They got a six tackles, six solo, and a sack. Good, good effort there, buddy. Game stats. UCLA, 21 to 18 for first downs. They rushed better, threw better. Both had zero turnovers. Really, on paper, this should have been a much better game. There's our top players. Looks like we got some injuries, some tough ones, too. Let's take care of the coaching business. Let's see, defensive coordinator. Go ahead and go for the power move. Offensive coordinator. We'll add carry. Alright boys, come on. There was a nice score. Can we can we win one? Can we win one? Win one for the runner. <laughs> Oh, maybe. Yeah, well, there we go. Finally. Finally. Damn, our offense lit up. Smothers, our sophomore. 21 of 43, 275, four touchdowns, four interceptions. Okay, Yant. Glad we put him in. 26 carries, 117 yards. He is a banger. We should be able to have him for his senior year when we start playing, I think. Palmer, 6 for 77. So we got two senior wide receivers that play good. Blocking, holy hell, 12 pancakes. He's going to be a big part of our resurrecting the Nebraska running power game. Uh, senior defensive tackle drew nine solo tackles. Beautiful. Eight for uh, middle linebacker Hendricks. He'll be back next year. Songrass will be back unless they transfer, of course. Songrass got a sack, three tackles for loss, seven. He's a huge, huge uh, guy for us. See, we outgained him on the ground. We pounded 195 rushing yards. Beautiful. Nice. 20, 275 pass. It wasn't for the four turnovers. He wouldn't have much to bitch about. Hey. All right. After our first win, we got some recruits here. We will go check them out in a minute. Looks like we're uh, starting to get in a battle for Boykin twice here. I don't know why that's on there twice, but okay. Okay. We're in our bye week, so recruiting is the most important part of the week this week. We'll get to our coaching tree. We're going to hit the recruiting site again. Right here. Go ahead. Now we increase the scouting to uncover 100%. That's what we need. Our scouting is going to be key. First, we'll check out who we nabbed. All right, corner with 90 speeds, better than anything we got right now. By the time he's developed, he will be really good. Since we're getting a bunch of scouting now, we're going to go ahead and hit all these guys. 84, all right, he went up. Could be a nice defensive end for us. McKnight, outside linebacker. Good speed. Oh, my God, he took a massive dump. 
Too bad his coverage skills aren't that bad. Okay, let's super sim this baby. Come on, Illinois oh, is 0-4, we're 1-3, we really need this win. I'd like to start 1-0 in the Big Ten. Come on, baby. There we go. Keep them out. Keep them out. Our two best defensive players are hurt. Can we hold on? Overtime. 19 of 35, 247. Three, eight, three touchdowns, two picks. Smothers had a lot of rushing yards. My goodness. A lot of attempts. Yant's still playing pretty good. He's a star on our team now. Yant's catching the ball. Martin. Okay. Yant should be able to let us uh, redshirt anybody we need to. See, man, that guy, that sophomore is a beast. We may have to redshirt him and hope we don't lose him. Sondgrass, or Snodgrass, or I don't remember how they pronounce his name in real life. He's a tackling machine. Nelson, left in, two, two sacks, bunch of tackles. We got a pretty good defense, really, I mean... Illinois outgained us on first down, but we had the yards advantage in rushing. Three turnovers, too, man. If we can get down those turnovers. Upgrade this skill. Increase your recruiting points by a total of 500, or plus 500 in weeks 8 through 15. Yes, please. All right, we got a t one of the left tackles committed. Two of them, center. Okay, we got some recruitment. Boykin, we're in a battle still. Not sure why they're showing him twice. Makes me a little nervous that the uh, files glitch or something. Two and three, two and oh in the Big Ten. Let's uh, take Purdue to the woodshed. Super Sim. Come on, Nebraska, let's go. Let's stay undefeated in the Big Ten. Ten to ten. Twenty-four to ten. Wow. How the hell did we lose the games to those other teams? Just because we had the shitty quarterback in there? Smothers, not the best quarterback in the world, but... 21 to 31, or 21 to 34, 251, two touchdowns and interception. Okay. Yant, 23 for 80. A little bit less yards per carry, but he really filled in where we needed him. So, Martin, senior, six foot Iowa City boy, six foot one, 200 pound, continues to play good. Palmer, our other senior, playing good. Blocking. Corcoran actually had more pancakes than Proskies this time, so. Man, they're having a good year. We should have some linemen in the Big Ten. Hey, cornerback Clark, 14 tackles. My goodness, 6'4, 195 senior. I wish he was younger. Okay, more first downs, more rush yards. About the same passing, both two turnovers, and we led. Time of possession. Okay, there's our offensive player and defensive player. Got one more week we get Mathis back and two more we get Reamer back. So that'll help a lot. Okay, we got some advancement on our offensive coordinators. Looks like we got a left in. We got a lot of people ready to visit. Got offensive defensive coordinator stuff. So defense... Gonna go for the block shed there. Here we gain plus four to injury or 
plus two carry. There we go. <sighs> Lathdoa, we're in a recruiting battle of four schools. Hey, Jonathan, thank you for the sub, man. All right, can we stay undefeated in the Big Ten? Minnesota's got a good team, it looks like. They're only three and four, but they're on paper. They look good. Defense look real good. Can we score on them? There we got one. Come on, hold up, defense. Oh, <laughs> big score. Oh, we gave up a point. Smothers still just seems like he's like a 50% passer, but he's got a 119 rating. Not sure about him. Yant, a lot of carries, not many yards. Smothers runs a lot. Receiving, you got our number one guy, Martin, won't be with us next year. Okay, blocking. There's a pancake master back in charge again. Defense. Henrich be back next year. Ten tackles, ten solos. It seems like everybody has solos for every tackle they get. We outgained them on first downs and rushing yards. They outpass us. Both had two turnovers. We won the time of possession. Okay, this is huge. Huge for us. We need win this game. We should be able to run the ball on these guys. Plus we're home. Alright, this is looking good so far. There we go. Can we get a big win? Our defense played tough. Yeah, 30 carries and 119. That's exactly what we needed against that guy. That team, they were 120th against the rush. Both of our seniors had good games receiving again. Of course, blocking is a... Our left tackle's a beast. Defense, Hendricks, Drews, Mathis being back played well for us. Wish he wasn't a senior. Henrich, Heinrich should be good for it. Okay, 19 first downs of 17, 163 rushing to 103. I thought that was the key. Uh, passing was basically a push. Two or two turnovers each. Time of possession pretty even. Okay, we have Hennigan committed. Left tackle Tyndall, strong safety Washington, and the fullback, who probably won't make the team anyway. Coach got a point, so this is getting critical here. Still going to go in the recruiting realm. Now we can go ahead and increase to a thousand points. We can add 500 points in weeks one through seven. Does us no good right now. Our visits are pretty much over, so might be time to put one here. Open one lock, recruit per season. We'll do that because we may end up locked on one of the guys who really need conference standings. We are sitting at 3-1 and one in the West. Much better than I thought we were going to be after we started so horribly. Smothers is playing okay for us after replacing the starter that will never be a starter again. Yant is playing pretty good for us. Of course our defense is good. We had two guys out for a long time. We lost three games here that were just putrid. Then we pulled off three in a row. Lost to Minnesota, barely whooped Northwestern, but now we come into the heart of it. Michigan, Michigan State, Penn State, and Iowa. It's very easily could end up with four more losses. Big Ten East, Ohio State, Michigan, Michigan State, Penn State. Now we play three of them like I just said. 
so we're gonna be brutalized I'm afraid quick Heisman watch got uh, Williams from Ohio State Gibbs from Alabama Gabriel from OU McIntosh from Georgia and Ford from Cincy we'll check the rankings real quick got Alabama and Oklahoma and NC State all in the top three Georgia's seven and one we will be running a playoff more than likely on this sim time how bad are we gonna get stomped or will we hold our ground <laughs> come on ooh your defense is stomping us there we go there we go was this an upset in the making Upset in the making? Mm -hmm. Alright, we played them a hell of a lot better than I thought we were going to. Alright, Smothers 24 41, 319, two picks and a touchdown, sack three times. Yeah, another 100 yard game. 12 long, 15 yards after catch, 10 broken tackles. Of course, we got Martin, Manning, Bullock, Palmer, all seniors. Blocking a little bit down this time for our pancakes. Defensively, Nelson's still balling out. Got Hill, sophomore corner. Clark, I mean, lots of tackles for losses here. All the way down to the Mathis. So, we got two sacks. Hey, Reimer did play. Good. Hopefully he's not injured again then. Okay, we had 160 there, 105. We had 319 to 294. We outgained them, but we had three turnovers. We really could have won this game. I was kind of hoping we'd sign one of these big guys this week. We got two smaller signings. Right now in the field, both of us. Not even three out of that one. Can we hang with number 14? It's not looking like it. Nope. Must have missed the extra point. Twenty-four to nineteen. Played them tough. Smothers is 27 of 44 for 312, three touchdowns and a pick. Yeah, 59 yards on 21 carries, not too good. Receiving our top two seniors again, big games, both over 100. Blocking, a little light. Yeah, gave up a couple sacks. Defense, Nelson again. 90 overall, man. We're going to miss these seniors. This is a tough, man. <laughs> going to be tough. Mathis, two sacks. Good to have him back. We should have had him back earlier. Okay, it's first down's pretty even. They actually outrushed us. We outpassed them. Of course, we outturned over them again. We have a lot of turnovers with this team. Hey, look at this, guys. We got... Ference to uh, commit and Peterson the left end. That's huge. So we got this beast in the house. 6'3, 226 athlete, but he's going to be a quarterback for us. He's got just tremendous good throw power and throw accuracy, speed. His. Uh, He's even got good return. Wow. <laughs> oh, we have a snow game. Okay, a super sim. We're hanging with Penn State.
<laughs> we were. Okay, we still are. Wow. They're number nine. And we're lost again a close one. Smothers 31 of 58, 372, and two touchdowns. Wow. He ought to progress good. He ain't sure throws the ball every game. 20 for 58. Smothers 2 for 10. Really don't have any good backups. There's Martin, 10 for 105. Man, we got a very heavy senior wide receiver class. Blocking. Ooh, gave up some major sacks here. Could have been because of the snow game. Let's see. We got Nelson. Eight tackles, three tackles for loss, and a sack. There's a nice sophomore. Five of five. There's, should have redshirted him, possibly. We had 23 first downs, only 90 yards rushing, 377 passing, time possession again. Number nine, Penn State, we barely lost. That's three really close games against ranked teams. Going into our last sim here, we have, I believe, I'm going to go ahead and bump this up to 1,000. Although I'm not sure we need it. Maybe we should, uh, visits are pretty much done. Right now we're building for next year, so we'll go ahead and add it there. So we have Iowa left. They're three and seven. We're four and seven. So if you look, these three losses that we had against all ranked teams by seven, five, and four. So sixteen points. We had a college game day game game with Penn State. So we we played real tough. I mean, lost to Minnesota by three. So all of our Big Ten Big Ten losses are by like twenty points total. We got Alabama, Oklahoma, Texas A&M, Florida, and Ohio State. You know, this might not be a playoff. These two stay undefeated. I might just play it out as normal because there's no reason to have a playoff. It's like Gibbs from Bama, Ohio State, Corn from Michigan. You have climbed up there. It's like we got all uh, halfbacks, kind of a college football revamp thing. We're going to super sim this one a little different. We're going to go quarter by quarter. I was on the board. Okay, we're back on. I went right back up again and again, and we're on again. <laughs> Okay, that's halftime. Let's go third quarter. I was pounding it now. Geesh, what happened? They just broke loose. Go ahead and to the end of the game. Wow, what happened? Okay, Smothers, four touchdowns, three interceptions, again, 48 attempts. My God. Opposite of what we want to be. 9 of 23, we could not run the ball. Seaming was even down. Okay, blocking, down. Defense, wow. Maga Clements had 15 solo tackles. Reimer, two tackles for losses. No sacks. Iowa blocks good. Senior. There's a junior. Farmer should be back. Hendricks will be back. 
Sunglass. Yant. Yeah. Okay, Iowa pounded us. 25 first downs to our 17. 201 rushing to our 37. 392 passing. That shit offense really played good. Four turnovers. Their time of possession was ridiculous. Okay, we got a bunch more recruits, including the tight end that's going to be a fullback. Got a couple wide receivers to develop and a halfback. Really hurting on our top three here. We want Darth, or Larth, Lyrath Doyle really bad. So we're going to open the door, probably to lose anyway. Although that jumped us a fucking ton. Guessing Ohio State moved into the top four. Oh yes, they're top two, okay. So Florida could make things interesting if they can knock off Alabama. I don't know, I'm tempted to give the Pac-12 a winner a shot into the top four also. These ones are definitely going to have to straighten themselves out. Well, it looks like we will have a playoff. Okay, here's your Heidman. Uh, Blake Corum won. Very good. Michigan looks like the total was like six points. That is super close. Really close. See the rankings going into the bowl season. Alabama and Ohio State. A&M and Michigan. This is going to be changed to Alabama, Oklahoma, Ohio State, Cincinnati, and Oklahoma. So I'm going to do that stuff, get that set up, and run the playoff. Cincinnati, Alabama. And Ohio State, Oklahoma. Okay. So 34 to 31, Alabama's a champion. Okie dokie. So, Alabama beat Ohio State. Ohio State beat Oklahoma. Alabama beat Cincinnati. A okay, new records, uh, 2013 record, Martin School record, 76 receptions in a season. Very cool. Martin, 1,082 yards receiving in a season. Look at the conference standings. We ended up third in the Big Ten West with a three and five conference record. Of course, Ohio State won the Big Ten East. This is a very tight race for the top four. Okay, here's your All Americans: Williams from USC, Williams from Ohio State, Gibbs from Alabama. Looks like most of these guys are going to be back if they don't leave early. Nelson left in from Nebraska made it as an All-American. There's the rest of your first team All-Americans. Second team, we'll just go down through them here real quick. We actually have another senior here, middle linebacker, nice. Freshman, nobody. Okay, let's go all Big Ten real quick. Okay, we've got Stroud, Quorum, Williams, Reed, Smith. Can't never pronounce his name right either. Of course, Nelson, our left end. Defensive tackle, Drew. Second team, Big Ten. The linebacker, all these guys we had are graduating, so that is the Big Ten and All American. Okay, here's our season stats Smothers 233 of 430 for 295 and 22 touchdowns. 
Rushing, Yant had 770. Johnson, 178. Both those guys should be back. Receiving, Martin was a 1,000 yards record setter. And top four guys are seniors. We got Casted. Cass and Denny, man, I cannot pronounce these names. They're real life people too. I need to look them up. <laughs> uh, Yant had 310 yards out of the backfield. 83 pancakes, that's ridiculously high. But he's a sophomore, so hopefully we can keep him. Defense, Hendricks is a junior. Nelson be gone. Mug, Mega Clements will be gone. Clark. He'll be back, Drew. And this is a senior-laden defense. We ran the uh, dynasty tool for our players leaving. So Nelson projected to go in the third round. Reamers fifth round. Too bad he had an injury. Plagued senior season along with Mathis did also. He's expected to go up sixth round. These are some good players we're losing. Newsom's gone. Washington Thompson, the quarterback. I mean, we got a lot of guys, very, very much a lot of people gone, so that's what that's looking like. Thanks for here. Let's look at the draft results. Nelson and Reimers and Mathis all got drafted. That's cool. Here we are now. We are in a massive, massive battle. We've dropped tremendously on Doyle. Doyle's the one we want the most. So we're going to put a lot of points on him. Okay, so this is what we're going for here. Doyle is the one we definitely have to get. He's got 97 carry, 90 speed. He's our next halfback. Bullock is a good halfback, but he's nowhere near the match. And Gentry is a really good guard. Okay, we got Doyle and we lost out on Bullock and Gentry both. So we really didn't sign anybody else. That is crazy. I figured we'd get some of the scrubs. Okay, so. Quarterback, we have Smothers is going to be our starter. Hennington. Hennigan is going to be definitely red-shirted. So, nothing wonderful there. Halfback. I believe we're going to move him to fullback. Is that 80 overall? Son of a... Really? Okay. Strange. Wonder what happens if we move him. Because he's slow as hell. He's a 55 fullback. Wow. Well, screw that. We'll just redshirt him then. We'll just put him at fullback potentially. Anybody else a big enough banger? 6'2 Yant, he really could be a heck of a fullback. Fifty-four. Nope. Okay. Fullback. Freshman. I guess we can just play him. Wide receivers. We are in big trouble here. Juco, I didn't realize he was a Juco, okay. Ooh, we were in big trouble. Tight end, 6'5", junior. 6'6", six, six, sophomore, Council Bluffs, Iowa. Ooh, this guy's got some speed here. Okay. Six 
foot. Yeah, here's our fullback right here. Okay, there we go. Left tackle. Oh goodness, it's a nice freshman there. Five star, huh? Gonna be doing some good recruiting here. We need a left guard. The center. We're okay. He's a bust. Right guard will be okay. Right tackle will be okay. So we need a left guard. So we'll take one of these uh, dudes. In fact, we'll move Banks to left guard. He's big, but that's okay. Well, red shirt. Tyndall. Probably redshirt both of them. Okay, left end. Oh my god, I love it. Five star, 82 overall. We have a bust here. So we got all freshmen left ends. Right in, we got some good guys coming back. Bust that freshman. Defensive tackles. We should be okay there. Left outside linebacker, we got freshman. Okay, middle linebacker, senior freshman. Redshirt freshman, okay. Right outside linebacker, senior. Sophomore. Sophomore. Spencer, Iowa, cool. Another Juco. So let's go ahead and move one of these to the left outside linebacker. How about Cap? Kapai? Yeah, there we go. We're going to send most of this team anyway, but oh my god, we were so slow. And that 90 speed, 290 speed freshman, or they might have to play, man. Wow. Free safety, we're looking good. Strong safety. Too many of them. All right, here's our two athletes. Both are tremendous stallions. Here's our future quarterback, 82 overall. He's also a 79 wide receiver. So there's our quarterback. And Doyle, I believe, is a halfback, yes. And a receiver. So he's a receiving back. And he could be a free safety. He is a running back. Okay, so we got a really, really good class. Okay, here's our overalls. We have Henrich, senior, he's a 90 overall middle linebacker. Johnson, halfback. Actually gained some speed, wow. Awareness is the huge one for me. So we got a right guard that's a freaking beast that's only a junior. Wide receiver, we gained some tremendous amount of awareness with this team. Let's go by position real quick. Quarterback, Smothers is an 80. He will be our starter this year. We're going to redshirt everybody else. Uh, Johnson, I really like the amp, but he didn't really gain much, so... Johnson may be the man. Fullback is a freshman there, so wide receiver, man, we are hurting. We are hurting. We got to recruit a lot of receivers this year. 
tight end. We need a new tight end. We are going to run this freshman though, 82 speed. Andruff, it's already been redshirted, so we're going to play him. Left tackle, 83 overall junior. Left guard, center, right guard, we got a good one. Right tackle's good, we got a good O-line. Left in, we have all freshmen. Got some good speed on the end, and a junior to boot, so. Defensive tackle's looking stout. Left outside linebacker, we moved him here. He's got 80 speed, 80 agility, actually lost one. Henrich, senior middle linebacker, freshman redshirt Hausman. <clears throat> and <clears throat> rounding it out with the 69 overall. Right outside linebacker, Malcolm's actually going to start. Snodgrass was in on a lot of plays. He's got great acceleration. But look at the awareness on Malcolm. I mean, he's just a better player. Corner, we are in trouble here. We're going to have to play the freshman I'd like to develop. Three safeties, okay. I mean, we could probably move this dude to a corner. I don't know. We're overloaded there. We got some 91 speed here. Kicker, rounding that out. 81 kicker. 80 punter so pretty good okay advance to the preseason Well, that's going to be our red shirts. Custom schedule. Let's see, I finally added Rutgers in Maryland. I forgot to do that. So we got Ohio State, Penn State. There are tough matches from the East, so that's okay. Fresno State. Yeah, we'll go ahead and leave that. Miami. I don't really want to play Florida Atlantic. So let's go ahead and we'll add a Charlotte at home. OK, 
Okay, that'll work. That's our schedule for Season 2. So our Canon Conference is Charlotte, Miami, and Fresno State. And Rutgers, Ohio State, Penn State, Purdue, Northwestern, Illinois, Wisconsin, Minnesota, and Iowa. Okay, this is going to be our team for Season 2. we got Smothers, the freshman who I will redshirt next year as a sophomore. So... Mothers is a junior. He's got one more year left. Halfback Johnson will be our main running back. Fullback Green, wide receiver. Very much a weak spot for us. But this is another sim year, so we'll be okay. We are definitely going to run our redshirt freshman at tight end. He's too much faster. The lineman we've already worked out. We have a decent line, especially our right side's tough. Left end, Sprinkles a freshman. I went ahead and played him. We got a couple other freshmen and we'll end up redshirting him somewhere. Right end, we got a junior redshirt. Going to start. Deep tackle, we got Robinson, nice senior. Pay, who we moved. He lost one overall, but he's got a speed. Middle linebacker Hendricks is our beast master. Probably play the sophomore Malcolm at number two. We do run a three four. And we like the speed. Of course he's probably our number one. Who, I don't know. That'll be okay. This is a tough one for me because Snodgrass played so good. But Malcolm... Okay, I won't play Malcolm at number two middle linebacker. Alright. Corners are just so unhappy with this. Free safety. That's going to be our lineup for now. Johnson's going to be a good quick re kick returner and punt returner. Maybe we'll put... Okay, we're going to set up our recruiting board in the next video. I appreciate you guys watching these videos. Nebraska Rebuild is one you guys wanted. So hit that like button, hit the sub, and we'll catch you on the next one.